Hey folks, Woody's Rock Shop and the Fabulous Coco Geode site. This is a super deep find. Really a thin geode. It's too hard to open up at the show. Plus when I got a line and the, the thinner geodes really are harder to break. So I'm going to open it up for you to see what's inside of it. We've got about five of these little thin geodes. Wow. Woo! Again, this is a super deep geode from the fabulous cook cook geode site real paper thin geode would you have ever expected a calcite that big to be in a geode that tiny or that thin that's way past an inch heavy heavy pyrite on it heavy pyrite again this is the fabulous cook cook geode site on our private property in Missouri Nice notch sides on that, nice ribs and, and veins and lines. And again, that's a super thin geo. That was the super deep dig. We're right back on the super deep finally. Had a lot of earth to move and a lot of fuel to burn. So we, we're back on it. We got, we got about 20 buckets off of it. Of course, not all 20 buckets will be good, but Again, that was just too thin to open up at a rock show, so really stellar little piece there. Definitely big heart little geode. I'll let my wife zoom in on all that for you. Looks like quite possibly the calcite was attached right there, barely. I kind of see a dimple now on top of the calcite, but just a massive calcite for such a thin geode. Again, we're Woody's Rock Shop and the Fabulous Cook Cook Geode site. This is private property. These are not creek geodes. This geode was literally 67 foot deep in the shale. You can see the attachment point to the quartz on the opposite side there. Nice, nice striations on the side of that calcite. I love the calcite on that quartz like that around that. Guys, thanks for looking and rock on. Have a great day.